what's going on guys welcome back to another video guys in this video we will talk about lucid motors guys once again that's lucid motors with the ticker symbol lcid guys in this video we will talk about two things guys first is the uh news okay elon musk warns rivals lucid and rivian that unless they slash costs they're going bankrupt okay that's the first one that we're gonna talk about guys and second is lucid announces one 0.0 billion dollars revolving credit facility so the very two interesting news guys guys if you like the information and analysis i'll be providing in this video please hit the like and subscribe button let's get going but it remains the case today that the only company american car companies that have not gone bankrupt are tesla and ford uh and you know unless something changes significantly with rivian and lucid they will both go bankrupt they are tracking to bankruptcy they may not um, say like that, that is currently like if, if this was an airplane they're like they're going like that so if something happens to go it's change <laughs> okay but currently the intersection with doom yeah so uh you know i i hope they're able to do something but unless they cut their cost dramatically they're in deep trouble so guys, this is the uh, article from yesterday. It says Elon Musk warns rivals Lucid and Rivian that unless they slash costs, they are going bankrupt. So guys, we all know Elon Musk has been in the business for quite some time now and he ha he did have a lot of ups and downs. So Elon Musk warns investors in Rivian and Lucid that uh, the duo are on the glide path towards doom. And if their course is not corrected, the electric vehicle startups could both end up in the cemetery of failed companies. Tesla's polarizing CEO has himself initiated, initiated measured cost cutting at his company, including creaming fat in the middle management amid a super bad feeling over the, the direction of the global economy. So we all know that Elon Musk lately have asked some of his employees to go back in the office. And other than that, okay, so he did try to uh, trim some of, you know, uh, highest paid employees in the organization so he's, he goes on to say that unlike something changes significantly with Rivian and Lucid they will both go bankrupt he said in the second part of an interview with podcasters Tesla owner Silicon Valley and the kilowatts posted on Tuesday an essential part of the problem in Musk's view is that the two are competing in an industry where generally speaking very little profit is made on a new car so we all know guys i'm making this video for lucid and lucid is mainly focused on luxury cars elegance with a bank with a bulk of earnings coming from the lucrative aftermarket business so as we go on further guys in the next year the next two years the uh, EV space will actually be saturated. So much like a printer company with ink cartridges on a razor company selling replacement blades, an automaker generates a large chunk of its income from spare parts for a large fleet of existing cars on the road, something both Rivian and Lucid lack. Okay, so of course, uh, Tesla have already uh, are already in uh, a lot of things. They have a service. Now they are actually introducing phones, right? So so possible threats while most companies are effectively in their infancy they pose they still pose a certain threat to musk threat to musk's larger uh, to musk's far larger battle tested companies so we all know guys that even before right so tesla right have have, uh, have uh, struggled in the space but is actually we all know he's uh, he is very successful let's uh, take a look at it that way a month after the air was first revealed as a prototype in august 2020 so guys this lucid to rave reviews in the media must suddenly pledge to to bring a new model s played with at at least 520 miles less than a year later he he then canned that promise since there was no need for that much after all and the plate ended up only offering a range of 348 miles so both startups are now struggling so guys we all know that lucid is burning cash they have a lot of people that they need to pay plus production costs plus expansion right so of course in part because uh in because of parts shortages production setbacks and lunch delays so those are the uh challenges that lucid is having currently and while rivian was briefly a darling of the stock market when it raised 12 billion dollars in the biggest ipo of 2021 so its fortunes quickly soured afterwards 
Perhaps more troubling, while both Rivian and Lucid lack scale and even though their production is only a tiny fraction of, si of the size of Tesla, their costs in some cases can be just as high. And we all know that, guys. Of course, the costs are high and of course, the uh, the the production cost as well is uh, very high, right? Labor is very high. And even the Elon Musk, he pointed out that the uh, profits is not that big. But of course, uh, guys, uh, these are startup companies and in the future, they could be one potential candidate that will actually try to uh, go against Tesla. For example, Tesla posted operating expenses of $2.2 billion in the fourth quarter, barely higher than $2.1 billion reported by Rivian during the period. Musk didn't pull his punches. My advice to Rivian would be to cut costs immediately across the board, dramatically, or they are doomed. So guys, so um, as, as I've shown in the video, guys, in the, the video that I've shown, I think uh, Musk was able to elaborate his uh, experience when it comes to ev production and you know his comments he's not trying to be a financial advisor he's trying to be he's trying to warn them as someone who has been there before so by by the time of this recording rivian guys is down 10 and 10.13 percent and tesla is down negative 9.21 percent so it has something to do with the you know inflation i mean uh, with the with the so this uh, uh, this uh, price action of these stocks right now is down because of the uh, because of the uh, data that came from Jerome Powell yesterday. But on the good news, right? So on the good news, guys, Lucid announces one dollar. I mean, one billion dollars revolving revolving credit facility. Okay, so. So this is uh, another news that came up yesterday, setting new standards with the longest range, fastest charging electric car on the market today announced. So that was yesterday into a credit agreement on June 9 with Bank of America, okay, is the, which is the administrative agent and swing line lender on the transaction. Other lenders in the initial bank syndicate. So the guys, this is a group of banks, include Citigroup, Barclays, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan Chase, uh, BNP Royal Bank of Canada Capital Markets as HSBC. So we got we all know guys that the uh, interest rates are high, but Lucid went on to it anyways, as they need capital, uh, lots of capital. So it says here we are pleased to complete this credit facility with an exceptional syndicate of banks, which illustrates our ability to access alternative forms of financing, and provides us with further financial flexibility to scale our business," said Sherry House, Lucid CFO. So, so this is a positive news, guys. Hundred percent. This is a positive news because it only means that on top of the uh, public inf investment fund of Saudi Arabia, okay, so the banks in us also recognizes lucid as a potential business partner okay giving them additional liquidity i mean letting them borrow additional liquidity so provides revolving credit under the facility with an initial committed amount of one billion dollars with avail availability based on the value of certain eligible assets included in the borrowing base from time to time okay so the abl credit facility has stated a term of five years maturing on june 9 2027 guys take note of that that will be the maturity date of this loan now guys um this can also be accessed in their sec filing from yesterday so under 424b3 prospectus okay so if you click on that guys we will come up with this up to so this is a share offering like a shelf right so Although it's not stated here, it says here up to 44,350,000 shares of Class A common stock and up to 1.195 billion shares of Class A common stock. Okay, so this has something to do, guys, with the uh, warrants. Okay, so it says here, guys, uh, 1.5 shares of Class A common stock issuable upon exercise of the working capital warrants so it depends on when the banks wants to exercise these warrants so at the closing price of our class a common stock was 16.60 per share so guys as far as technical analysis is concerned okay so you can clearly see guys that we are currently trading at 15 dollars and 38 cents so this is your daily time frame guys so we have a one major support at around this price at around 15 dollars and 37 cents but okay if you uh, zoom out you can clear to see that we haven't been in this price ranges before although we have an all-time low of $13.25 so I'm hoping that we will not be 
in that situation anymore but in in this macroeconomics i think most of the stocks are going down so lucid is not an exception okay but as far as long-term play long-term growth stock okay lucid of course i still consider lucid as one of those okay so you can clearly see here guys that uh, this stock has okay 582 institutional investors today guys we have a volume of 16.33 million there's not a lot of people trading the stock so it's not only lucid guys including every other stock and the average volume in the past three months for the stock is 22.34 million okay so i'm looking another at another hopefully a green price action tomorrow because of you know uh, it looks like we have a red day today just because of the uh interest rates that was actually released yesterday by jerome powell like i said a while ago okay lucid is still one of the place long-term place that i'd really like in my portfolio okay so if you uh if we break this down in a four hour time frame guys you can clearly see that okay it's trying it actually went down a little bit further and that has something to do with the fear in the market okay so the next uh the levels that we that we are watching in the stock personally speaking guys so we have a support here at $13.25 so if we'll if it will go down a little bit further than $13.25 I think this is another good loading opportunity but of course we have a resistance here at around $18.25 so time and time again guys we have seen that even in the past $18 is a good support for the stock hopefully guys we can get there really fast you know as soon as tomorrow or starting next week guys if you like the information and analysis I have provided in this video please hit the like and subscribe button once again this is your boy don't leave your trades I love you all peace out